Good morning, modern steaders. Man, is it cold out this morning. It's a brisk 34 degrees. I am thankful we didn't get a frost, but boy, was that close. Whew, that's a little chilly out. It's a little tease of what's gonna be up and coming for us, I guess. It's gonna be warming up, I think, tomorrow in rain, so I'm assuming that's some spin-off from the hurricane that's coming up the coast. Was it warmer in there last night? Keep out some of the drafts. Go for it, go on. You had a really good milking from Willow this morning. Oh, so close. Glad we didn't get the frost. I wonder what the pigs thought of their first cold night last night. What are you doing, sausage? You're drooling. You smell breakfast? Keep losing your dish, huh? One of the crazy pigs lugged the dish over here. I guess it's really gonna get fed today. Did you keep your babies warm? Yeah, looking good. Doing a good job, Mom. Alright guys, explain this one to me. It's 34 degrees out, we didn't get a frost. But, we have ice. How the heck does that happen? That doesn't make sense to me. I don't get it. There's frost right here, and ice, but there's no frost on the grass. Let's check on top of this chicken tractor. There's ice, that's like frosted. I'm sure it has something to do with science and I don't have the answer to it. If you know what it is, leave it in the comments down below. That's just mind boggling to me. Now the water on top of the turkeys isn't frozen. That's just odd. Andy, how are we doing? Good. 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 Good.
we going? Had that cookout last night, so we forgot to collect our eggs. But you know what? They sat out in the refrigerator all night anyways. That thing's huge. Hoping if I feed them over there, they'll clear out that brush a little bit better. Come on, Pluto. I'm just gonna have one. So probably just three. I do it here. Yep. Hope we get it done before it gets too cold out again. I'm gonna have a cold house. Some friends in there. <laughs> What's that? Oh, some friends in there, you're right. I think they're ready. Ready? Yeah. You get to figure out. Gina was supposed to do this project about three years ago. Hey, hey, hey. And you never did. What? You said this is a project you were supposed to do three years no, ago. No, I said it was a project that was supposed to get done three years ago. I didn't think I was supposed to do it. Oh. Nice job. Nice work. Try to blame me. You were trying to blame me, I think. That's okay. So it's not water based. It's, um, just found that out. Oh, I want to get on. You do it. Yeah. You want some food? Ready for some apple sausage? Blank, you coming too? Shiki! You want some apples too? Mm -hmm. You 
guys sure are some messy eaters. Hopefully it dries so we can put it back up tonight. Oh, it's three o'clock. It should be dry by then. I think it's dry enough. It's not completely dry, but I think it should be dry enough to hang. We'll let it finish drying this afternoon. What do you think? Do you like your cranberry door? I like it. Yeah. We're just going to clean the glass clean up. Clean the glass and, and then we'll eventually paint the frame. Get the trim cleaned up. Yep. Looks nice. Oh. Cool beans. So I'm going to go back. And girls are all roosted up and ready for bed. Guy's going to keep warm tonight. And you're ready for your night snacks. Sleep tight, stay warm. You guys all hunkered down. Where's Moose sleeping? I just wanted to take a minute and say thank you for everybody who subscribed to the channel. We just reached 40,000 subscribers the other day. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, now's a great opportunity to go on down below, hit the subscribe button, and turn on notifications. Thank you all, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.